So guys, in my previous video, I've shown you how to control a single digit 7 segment LED display with your Arduino. And till then, you got a question how to control multiple digit 7 segment LED displays with your Arduino. As there are many pins and your Arduino doesn't have that much amount of pin. So how can you control that? So in today's video, I'm going to show you. So let's get started. So basically I would say lighting up two of these digits at once is not possible because these two, I mean those segment pins of these two digits are shorted and connected together but the digit pin is not connected. So basically how you can display these two is by something called multiplexing. Now what is multiplexing? Basically first of all this digit should turn on and then after some time this should be turned on and this should be turned on and off alternatively uh, so that when these things happen pretty fast you cannot understand I mean you your eye cannot differentiate that two displays are turning up alternatively and you will see that the both displays are connect turned on at once that is something called persistence of vision isn't it so let me show you how to do that so the second display basically I have connected the common anode to pin 7 so I have to declare another pin now pin 7 output common uh, digit 2 let me write a digit 2 anode and digit digit 1 anode and now let me display the normal 1 uh, so in the first digit I will display 1 and the second digit I will also display 1 so that the things are simple for me to actually dif display two of these segments at once so basically that our display will show 11 so to do that I have to again display 1 I think I oh sh So this to display one, I have to again turn on turn on B and C. To do that, let me show you. Uh, B is connected to ten, and C is connected to four, and actually I have to also turn off my digit 2 because basically it will turn on automatically and to do that I have to pull it low digit 2 that is connected to pin 7 I should pull it low otherwise it will be turned on automatically so now the fun thing is here so basically our digit sorry our digit 1 on digit 1 is actually displayed on my our first display and you can see our first digit oh it hurts me Whatever. so now as our first digit is displayed basically what we have to do is put a little bit delay so that I will put a lot of delay for the first time to show you how a multiplexing looks like and then after the delay <coughs> I should turn our first digit off pull our 5 low no sh and pull our second digit high and our second digit, the common anode is connected to pin 7 as I've shown you. And now basically I have to put another delay. Well I will again put 100. This is a lot of delay and you can actually will be able to see the multiplexing. That will be kind of cool. And that's why I am doing that. So then I should put, 
pull my what the f digit dull what the f digital I think I should invent my own dictionary low there we go now we can see let me tell you in a little bit brief <coughs> second digit and as you can see first of all I have full digital digi digital I mean digit one in our both of the displays but I have not connected the common anode to there and then I pull the common anode of the first display to high that means our first digit is displayed and then put a little bit delay in there to turn on and then I turn off I turn off my first digit and then turn on my second digit and then again put a delay and then again turn off our second display and these things happen simultaneously as our loop runs for infinite times we will be able to see that the two displays are actually multiplaced and when it turns on this turns off and vice versa so basically let me show you let me upload that see isn't it kind of cool and you can actually see the multiplexing because uh, this is I have put a lot of delay in there so let me reduce the delay and you will be able to see the magic I will put 50 in there uh, 50 will be too much uh, let me put 10 in there uh, there we go let me upload that upload Oh, still you can see a little bit delay I um, mean a little bit flickering because 10 is also too much let me put one in there upload it damn and as you can see our displays are showing 11 and that's amazing because we have not connected all of these pins individually to our Arduino but we have actually connected only our anode pin to separate pins and all of our segment pins to same pin but still we are able to display this 11 in there and like this you can display whatever you like like 22 23 24 or whatever up to 99 you can display using multiplexing and this is called multiplexing this is always used in all ta kind of multiple digit 7 segment LED displays and that's how it works but as you can see to only display this in one you have to basically write this much of code and as you can see this is pretty impractical so in my next video i will show you how to do this using a library i found it from arduino playground and how simple it is to write these numbers uh, actually up to whatever number of digits you want maybe that's four digit five digit six digit seven digits that's insanely amazing in my next video i'll show you how to do this using a library and how easy that is to actually write numbers in your seven segment LED display maybe displaying voltage using a seven segment LED display and that is the core which I'm gonna show you in my next video how to do all these because as you know I have shown you that this much amount of code is actually impractical to write when you are gonna display some time or voltage or make a counter or something like that isn't it so that's why the library comes into play and like you print all your stuff on serial monitor just using the command serial.print or serial.println just like so you will be able to write numbers digits alphabets of whatever you want in your seven segment LED display so till then Keep watching our syllabus and if you like this video give it a thumbs up thumbs down for the opposite and don't forget to share and subscribe and click that notification bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. So this is Mahar you are watching our syllabus and I am signing off.